studio could afford in the universe. A remarkable place that manages to shield itself from the hectic activity of the outside world. A safe zone for a lonely traveller just like myself. Oh, how I do miss my companion, Robo-Dog. Granted, he was just a little toy dog that I bought at the charity shop, but it still felt special and alive to me. Right, well, enough moping and exposition. Time to head off. to sit and rest for a while. I've had quite the adventures as of late that take quite a lot out of me. Like at one time I saved that race of miniature people from a really mean kid with a magnifying glass. Of course, I did step in it by accident, but it was still quite a lot of work. Or the one incident with the dismembered head of David Bowie trying to take over the world. Or was that just a medicine induced hallucination I had? Either way, I deserve a good rest. Oh, my kitty on! Back you are. It's the Daleks. Well, okay, technically a Dalek, but still Daleks. Stay back, you are. I can't move very fast. Bugger. What on Gallifrey is a Dalek doing on the Eye of Orion? It must be a scheme to take over the universe. Or renew the rights so we can keep pulling them on lunch boxes. So, Johnson. I've got it. I'll wait for the Dalek to come over here, and then I'll jump him. Glad I said that out loud. Show yourself at once. Gotcha. Oh, cease. Let go. Oh, no, do. Open up the side panels. Rewind. Initiate your self destruction Stop. Do not open my inner case. It is super embarrassing. There, I've done it. No. Why are we so easily defeated? <laughs> Well, glad that's over. No doubt he was the only Dalek here, so my work here is probably done. I've maybe saved the entire universe once again. Just another day in the life of the Doctor. I'm going to write this down in my 500-year diary. Uh, uh, would it be my 600-year diary? Uh, my 800-year... No, no, no. It would be my 